Hey, Victor Martins here. Uh, and we're actually uh, in northern Iraq uh, visiting with this uh, precious uh, young gal who has suffered uh, the, the greatest effects of the evil of Daesh or ISIS or IS. And she's brave. Uh, we just got finished praying and that God has allowed her to, uh, to stay alive in the midst of all of it. It's for a reason. And we're here sharing the love of God, giving them hope. We're in this, this home that has taken her in. She was able to escape. But the stories and the tragedy and the, and the, the wickedness that she's had to endure and the loss of uh, her, her family. Right now, all she has, uh, all her family is still captured. The thing that just, it's unbelievable to me. She's been free for two months, a little bit more than two months, and no one's helped her. She has emotional, obviously, emotional problems of trauma, but no one's come here. Organizations talk a lot, and then you have some from the missionary organizations, even there's a few that come here, but all they want is just to try to convert people. And, and I'm telling you, uh, man, for goodness sake, stop that. Uh, it's not about garnering, you know, who you can convert so that you feel better when you go back. It's about sharing the love of God, bringing hope. The Lord will do all the rest of that. They know who we are. They know who we represent. But I pray that those listening and watching now will understand. Help us to help gals like her, this, this sweet, beautiful young lady. It's real, and it's now. So pray, please pray, and be part of what we're doing. It makes a difference.